everyone, welcome back or welcome to my channel. My name is Savannah and we are a little bit behind. The screenshot that you're looking at right now got released yesterday at time of recording and it is of course the wild boar, one of eight animals being added with the Planet Zoo Eurasia Animal Pack. I had a really long, long day at work and I just didn't have it in me to sit down and chat about the wild boar, but that is not the case today. I'm very excited to talk about this one. Now, if you guys remember when we were talking about a possible anniversary animal, the wild boar was right up there with the peccary as a possible addition. Now, in having gotten the peccary as the anniversary animal, I am not surprised that the wild boar is now here in this pack. And of course, it looks great. Um, it is just, you know, a reskin if you want to call it that. We have the, the red river hog, we have the peccary, we have the babarusa. Although the babarusa doesn't really have, you know, fur hair like this. So uh, it's a little bit different, but it looks great nonetheless. In the front here, it looks like we have uh, probably a male eating a carrot. In the forage enrichment item is what it looks like they're standing in. And really cool to see that it looks like when the keepers fill that up, they're gonna get carrots and pumpkins added on in there and that's what they're gonna forage and, and eat. So pretty cool there. Other than that, in the screenshot, in the background, again, I see no new landscaping, no new trees, no new bushes, no new grass, which is a little bit sad. I'm really hoping that they kind of aren't showing it and they're gonna sneak it in, but We'll have to see when we get our hands on the pack. Talking about the animals specifically, I really like the like heathered look that the animals have to them. Um, the like kind of salt and peppery looking on their fur on the back, especially on that one in the foreground. A little bit lighter hair on the head of the one to the right. Um, but yeah, cool nonetheless. I really don't have a whole lot to say with all these animals. Uh, well, I shouldn't say all these animals. With some of these animals being what you might call reskins, they're very cool and I think it's great that they're being added into the game just to help round out the diversity of your parks. You know, you can have a, a pig section now or have these little filler animals to fill in the nooks and crannies of your zoo. Um, but I don't have anything like groundbreaking to say about the wild boar. Now, you might disagree with me because I know this one was for whatever reason on the top of people's wish list and if you were one of those people let me know why um i think it's a great animal don't get me wrong but it's not one that has me like running to the computer to build for um but let me know if you think that i'm wrong and why and uh while you do that let's talk about you know just wild pigs in general Beauty may be in the eye of the beholder, but there's more to wild swine, also called pigs, hogs, and boars, than meets the eye. From the petite pygmy hog to the immense Eurasian wild pig, swine are fascinating animals. Each species has its own distinctive look, behavior, and geographic range, but shares many traits. Their strength, their resort resourcefulness, oh my goodness, why was that so hard to say, and their intelligence. All swine have that familiar piggy look, small eyes, expressive ears, and a squared off snout for digging. But let's skip straight to the end, the back end, that is. If an individual's tail is curly, then he or she is domesticated. Wild pigs all have straight tails. Domestic pigs often get much larger than their counterparts. A few have weighed more than a thousand pounds, that's 450 kilograms. Males are always much larger than the females and have larger, more prominent tusks. While humans hunt swine for food, natural predators include large cats, hyenas, and even pythons. The pig's primary defense is their speed. But when cornered, they can behave quite fiercely. Their lower tusks, which can get to be about three inches long, are razor sharp and make excellent weapons. Red River hogs can even swim underwater to escape from leopards, catching a breath every 15 seconds or so. They can't hold their breath very long. <laughs> Wild swine species have adapted to live in a variety of climates and habitats. 
Red river hogs and babarusas live in the rainforest, bush pigs and forest hogs live in the forest, and warthogs are at home in the savanna. All make good use of mud wallows to cool off and protect their skin from parasites and insect bites. They are generally crepuscular or nocturnal, so meaning that they are uh, active during the morning and the evening or active all night long. Resting during the day in burrows or hollows, they make in stands of tall grass or leaf litter. Pigs and hogs are omnivores. Their varied diet can include small reptiles, mammals, and carrion, as, along with grasses, water plants, and fruit. A good part of each day is spent foraging. All pigs use that tough snout to root in the soil for food items such as leaves, roots, bulbs, insects, and earthworms. An acute sense of smell allows swine to detect an edible root or tuber uh, 10 inches below the soil. Because of this behavior, wild swine have become infamous for rooting through and destroying large portions of farmers' crops. So there you go, not specific to the wild boar, but I figured we would just talk about wild pigs in general since there are so many species and now we have so many species in the game. So of course, if you have a wild boar or just a pig fact, let me know down in the comment section below. I would love to hear from you. Love to hear what you know, and let me know if you're excited. Is this guy on the top of your list? I am still waiting officially until we see the very last showcase, um, even though we've kind of already seen the Winset, it was kind of featured a lot in the trailer um, to make my final favorites list. But Wild Boar is probably not in the top three, maybe not even in the top four. Five. I'm not quite sure yet. So let me know what you think and definitely leave a like and hit the subscribe button. It's the best way that you can make sure you don't miss out on any future content. And until next time, I will talk at you in the next one. Bye.